Working his way up from cooking breakfasts in a small hotel, David Higgs is a chef, restaurateur and artist known as much for his love of fine dining as he is for a good bribe. The comfortable home he shares with his English bulldog Carlos celebrates his passion for art and for cooking with what he grows in his own garden. The Insider SA. Welcome to my home. <laughs> Come inside. So the entrance to my house is a quite a special one. It's special because it's, every time I come home, it's, you know, it's all the things that I love. I'm not an art collector by any stretch of the imagination, but the pieces that I have in my home are very special to me. Some valuable, some not so valuable. Photographs from my book, Mile 8, uh, pictures of Walfus Bay where I grew up, the pelicans in the harbor, beautiful, beautiful pieces. And then some political satire, things that remind us of, of South Africa and all the things that we've been through as South Africans. This is the perfect piece here, is a, the recyclers. We all know the recyclers. We pass them every single day of our lives and uh, the beautiful colors of the South African flag and, and little reminders within that piece, you know, the Zamalek. These are just things that, that are reminders, that are things that make me happy. This is the entrance to my home. <laughs> now the two pieces in the house that mean the most to me uh, are pieces that are done by a friend of mine, Richard Scott. So we ride bikes together and uh, we have a love for food and, and obviously I have a massive love for art. So the bulldog here was painted by Richard. I bought it white from a gallery and then uh, asked him to paint it for me. And then uh, the piece that was done by Richard, which is a very personal piece. It's got the marble bill on it. And then also what's really cool, it's, we're both Vespa lovers as well. It's got his original little motorbike license on it as well. What I love about his art is that it's vibrant and you'll see everything about me, everything about my house is pretty bright and colorful and that's really my style. But then you come into my lounge area and, and you have these beautiful blues. Now, before we leave this area, I just wanna quickly show you something because this is something that means a hell of a lot to me. Now, one of the pieces that, that I've actually put together, um, this is my lockdown piece and all the recipes, these little yellow post-its are all the recipes that I did. There's over 200 recipes during lockdown. And, uh, and they also, I folded them in little, in little cones. They represent birds, the hardy dars. And um, it's been auctioned off for Reach for a Dream. It's been sold already. It's not finished yet, but it's been sold already. Who's this? Come. And that, my friends, is Carlos. Carlos, the king of Spain. It's amazing how, how that sort of companionship through lockdown, five months, uh, has given me a, a proper reconnection with, with my boy and his... Uh, it's been good for the soul, that's for sure. So this is my kitchen. The first thing that I need to do is I want to have a, a little, uh, little omelette for breakfast and I want to pick a couple of herbs in the garden. So this is my, this is my garden, this is my space. It's a, it's a space where, where you can really, as a chef, sort of channel your, your energies and your, creati your creativity. And it's, there's nothing more rewarding than cooking from the garden, uh, literally to the, to the pan. It just, Cutting some chives, some spinach as well. Very, very quickly, very simply, I'm gonna crack two of my eggs, omelets, one of my favorite things to make. Any egg dish. Let's give that a little bit of a whisk. This is also a Richard Scott bowl. So Richard Scott, the artist that I've been showing you around. As you can see, this butter is bubbling beautifully now. Another good reason other than flavor to use butter when you're making omelets because it, it tells you the temperature just by looking at it. Keep folding that back on itself. Look at that. Into that, I'm gonna put my spinach. I like my spinach raw, a little bit of chive and the heat from the omelet is gonna cook that a little bit as well. All we have to do is roll that onto our plate. Mm. I should have been a chef. <laughs> And the only other thing that I always like to put on is a little bit of Parmesan cheese, just to finish that off. And voila, breakfast is served. And now I can start my day. Situated in the growing art and food hub of the Keys Art Mile in Johannesburg is one of the city's most sought after restaurants. It celebrates South Africa's love of cooking on fire and was founded as a collaboration between David and entrepreneur Gary Kiriakou. Hi, my name's Gary and welcome to Marble. Please come through with us. I'll show you my home. Marble's always been a dream of mine to open a world-class restaurant in Johannesburg. Through my travels, New York, London, I've seen a lot of inspiration. So I got back from New York one day and you know, I realized that South Africa's got great meat and we need to showcase it. So this 
marble idea came to life, but there was something missing. I needed a great partner and a great chef. And that's where I met David. I went to the Saxon one day and I pitched the idea to him and he fell in love with it. And the rest is history. You know, I didn't know Gary from a bar of soap, you know, like, so I, I wouldn't have known if he walked into the room. The fact that we, we got on so well immediately and then, you know, we, we had this incredible conversation. And I always say to everybody, you know, as a chef, there's many people that want to open a restaurant and they come to you with ideas or they come to you with money and not so much with ideas. And with Gary, he came to me with a whole package. They celebrate all types of ingredients cooked on coals, including fish, poultry, vegetables and breads. However, red meat and steak in particular is a signature of their offering. The beautiful thing about presenting um, this meat platter to guests um, at the beginning of the evening is that they can immediately see the different meats. So whether it's grass-fed, whether it's grain-fed, whether it's yellow fat, white fat, whether it's got marbling, whether it's on the bone, whether it's off the bone. And then you get, you know, then the story comes of the local Wagyu, you know, which starts off on grass, but it's finished off on grain. The Chama beef, exactly the same. We have Michu's meat from the Tsitsikama, which is only grass-fed, and you can see the yellow fat, you can see the dark meat, and it tastes completely different. While on their travels doing research for a successful formula, David and Gary found inspiration in the elegant pizza and champagne bars of Manhattan, a concept they brought back to South Africa two years ago. So welcome to Saint, a loosely Italian restaurant. Uh, obviously we serve pastas and pizzas and got these incredible pizza ovens that we've brought in from overseas. We've got a grill here as well. But Saint represents fun and South Africans love a bit of fun. The style is based on the concept of crazy but fun Italian. The decor has been set up to create an exciting vibe to attract the trendy up-and-coming business people in the area. We've also done something really spectacular on the ceiling, something that reflects a palazzo or a beautiful cathedral in Italy. It's a vaulted ceiling and on there we have projected some gorgeous frescoes that are interchangeable while you're dining. And these are quite theatrical. So while you're eating, your experience is elevated just by watching what's happening above. And right below me is a spectacular rug. It's 14 meters long. And this was custom made for us by an illustrator and a great uh, carpet manufacturer. And it represents the two sides of Venus. It's her good side and her naughty side. One of my favorite pieces is right behind me, and that's the bar panel. And there on, we also project different images, and they're interchangeable through the night, so it gives you something interesting to look at while you're having a drink and relaxing in the space. We headed to the kitchen for an inside look at their pizza making. So the thing with pizzas is, and especially the pizzas that we do here, it's a Napolitan style pizza. So you can see, we don't roll this out with machine or rolling pin, it's all done by the hand. And there's an art to this. This is why I don't do this. <laughs> I can make it, Chef. You will cut the chorizo. I cut the chorizo, you make the pizza. Yes, oh, Chef. Is... Eh? Yes. <laughs> yes, Chef. So what you'll notice about the pizzas is that we have very little toppings on them, but always quality. So pepperoni, essentially, tomato, mozzarella, and a little bit of chorizo. I'll put this on. Look at this, eh? This technique. The guys hate it when I get involved with the pizzas. Excellent. Do your thing, Chef. Do yeah, your thing. Yeah, that's my tip. So the beautiful thing about this pizza is that it's cooked incredibly quickly. 60 to 90 seconds in a really, really hot oven. And that's the beauty of it. And it gets this lovely crust on the outside. They call it a leopard skin. So it sort of bubbles on the outside. Really, really good. Beautiful. Oh. Ah. Watching the performance of the chefs in this theatrical kitchen layout is part of the experience. It's about experience. There's not one single thing that's more important. It's not about the food, it's not about the service, it's not about the look. It's about all of those things. I don't know what, how you Look, feel. Yeah, when, when our customers walk through the door, we want to create this theater, the theater of the food, the theater of the music, the theater of the smells, the service. So it, you can't pinpoint what it is, but it's just the holistic thing of hospitality and, and what we do here. It takes courage to be in the restaurant business and to stay in business in this current climate and David, Gary and Irene are showing their metal. Get more of the Insider SA online. Follow, connect, engage and be inspired to live better with the Insider SA. Watch the show Monday evenings at 5.30. Repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.